Okay, so we're just going to have a look at setting up uh, horizontal and diagonal tension lines. Uh, there's a few do's and don'ts with it. Um, if we look at the anchor selection that we've got here, we're just going to go for a set of diagonal ones. People are quite often tempted just to do this with it. Put an ID into one, an ID into the other. pull them tight and then tension them up. The problem with this is, obviously these are too, they're too far apart, so it condenses all the system, and you've got all the force going through, you know, it's not, they're not equally loaded really in each anchor. Um, so it's much better if we can equalize out both anchors. So if you're on structural steel, it'd be dead easy, just two wire straps clipped around both. But with these, we're gonna make a, just a little equalizing y hang with a bit of rope. <clears throat> so dead easy, dead easy really, I'm just going to make a, a biggish bunny and then clip it into both. And then I can just tie a figure of nine in here. Don't pull it too tight, so I can adjust it in a minute. Do the same with the other one. Clip into there. Clip into there. Put that on that side. Okay, I don't have to get them both the same length, really. I'll just clip my IDs in. Pull it tight and just look at the direction of pull and just make sure that the bunnies are nicely loaded now. I need to feed a bit of that across. Okay, so these are now equalized into both anchors. I just need to put a bit of tension in them now. I don't need to go crazy. <clears throat> you don't gain a lot from putting a lot of mechanical advantage in. You gain a couple of degrees in height, so it's just, it's, there's just no point in it. All I'm gonna do is just put a jammer on, pulley on the out one, clip it in, and then I'll just pull it hand tight. That's all it needs to be. And I'll just do exactly the same. I'll just do exactly the same with the other one. Put the jammer on, pull the tail of your ID rope. Clip the pulley on. Slide it up and then just, just hand tight. That's all it needs to be. You don't need to go crazy. Yeah, if you look at the loadings in the uh, in the other video with the load cell, you get appreciate you appreciate why you don't need to put a lot of force in really. So once we've once we've set them up like that, <clears throat> I just lock the handles off. The big advantage of using IDs over stops or something like that is these slip at around six kn. So if these lines were subject to an impact force. In theory, the IDs would slip before you overloaded anything in the system, or snapped anything rather. So there's no need to tie them off or anything like that. If you want to make it tidy, if you've got enough rope here so that you can lower off the system for rig for rescue, leave a load of slack, 
just chain it off. Everyone likes a nice tidy work site. Bag them up or put them at the bottom. And that's it really.